In this video, we're going to talk about thermocouples and thermal piles. This is a source of ignition for the gas furnaces. So a thermocouple is a pair of two dissimilar wires joined at one end that can generate voltage based on the amount of heat applied to it. Each of the wires is made up of a different metal. The end of the wires that are welded together is called the hot junction. The under, other end of the wires is called the cold junction and it's connected into the circuitry. Since thermocouples are made up of two dissimilar metals and have a variety of different metals, the different metals produce different voltages. A thermocouple can produce 30 millivolts. To produce higher voltages, several thermocouples are connected in series. Once the several thermocouples are connected, the arrangement is called a thermal pile. Thermal pile or power piles can produce either 250 millivolts or 750 millivolts. This is an example of a thermocouple positioned in a gas flame. Okay, these are always work on the pilot flame and the pilot flame heats up the metal and says, yes, we have gas, okay, and we have flame. It's part of the safety system. So when you take a thermocouple out of a box, you have the hot junction, that's the point that's in the flame. The cold junction either usually screws into the gas valve. A thermocouple is used in some furnaces to sense pilot flame. The voltage created by the thermocouple is enough to keep the pilot coil energized, and we'll talk more about that when we talk about gas valves. The pilot coil is like a solenoid that will stay pulled in after being moved and voltage is applied to the coil by a thermocouple. This voltage that's provided by the thermocouple does not have enough power to open the valve. It has enough power to provide the solenoid magnetism to keep the valve open. If the pilot flame goes out, the thermocouple cools and the voltage drops to zero. The pilot coil cannot stay energized and the gas valve closes. By the way, this is a DC voltage. So if you need to check the meters of a thermocouple or thermal pile, switch your meter to DC. So a thermal pile is 25 thermocouples put in series. This greatly increases the DC voltage output, increasing the current available to do the work. So a single thermocouple puts out 25 to 30 millivolts. 10 thermocouples in series put out 250 to 300 millivolts. 25 thermocouples in series put out 625 to 750 millivolts. The pilot stat, the thermal pile, generates enough voltage to hold open the pilot valve and energize the main gas valve. The holding circuit operates pretty much the same as the thermocouple circuit. Again, it cannot open the pilot valve, but it can keep it open once it's manually activated. The thermostat is wired in series with the main gas valve. When the space temperature drops, the thermostat closes and energizes the main gas valve. The thermostat with a millivolt system differs from the 24 volt system. The heat anticipator operates at a lower, lower voltage. A millivolt anticipator is not adjustable. And the 24 volt and the millivolt thermostat will look the same, but it's not interchangeable. This is extremely important from a parts replacement standpoint. If you're working as a service tech and have a millivolt system, first of all, you'll recognize it because there's no transformer. And second of all, you will not have 24 volts at the thermostat. Do not put a 24 volt thermostat on it because it will not work. Okay, the same way if you have a millivolt thermostat and need a 24 volt one, don't interchange them because the millivolt thermostat will actually catch fire if you put 24 volts across it.